Okay, so what's your name and occupation? My name is John Nichols. I'm a retired musician. And what was your inspiration on learning the bass? Uh, when I was a boy, I uh, went to school and uh, one morning after seeing the Beatles on the Sunday night at the London Palladium, the next morning on the school bus to Toaster, I um, invited a couple of mates to, to form a band and we did. They were called the Dean Beats and uh, later the Fenton Wheels, but we went on to play some nice venues uh, with some good bands. What is your favourite bass you have owned? Uh, well, probably this one. This is good value uh, Fender Deluxe bass, which I bought in 1995 from the Bass Centre in uh, Denmark Street. What was one of your most fond memories working in a band? Um, always a lot of fun working in a band, uh, playing. It was never working, it's just enjoying yourself. Um, too many to, re to recollect really, so many contacts and friends I met with. It was great, loved it. Uh, in the early days in Mixed Feelings, which was uh, my next band, which I formed in 1974, 75. Uh, we thought any song we could do. There was four guys, Dick Henningham was on the keyboards, Vaughan Rance on drums, Ralph Lewin on guitar and myself on bass. We did stuff like Music by John Miles, uh, which is no easy number to master. And I suppose quite a hard one was Takata, which was recorded by, at the time by a band called Sky. And we did a pretty reasonable version of that. And what message do you have for the next generation of musicians? Keep practicing. Practice at home. Any, any spare time you've got at home, pick up that guitar and just practice a few licks and you'll get good. It's important if you're a musician to try and go as far as you can. I couldn't read music, but I could read guitar music, the guitar chords, and that's how I used to cheat when we used to back other singers and musicians on stage. I never had any problem. I believe there's another famous bass player that doesn't read music, who you'll know, but I won't name him. Paul McCartney. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great player, great musician. Um, yeah, it was a big influence on me, the Beatles, and I'd say to any young musician, keep at it, get in with your mates, you'll be spending your money on decent musical instruments rather than fags and booze, but uh, that'll come later. <laughs>